Well, it's been a pretty busy day today. Haven't been able to video much of it, but I've had somebody working with me, and we've just been busy. I fried the, uh, the oil monitor thing, because even though I thought I had everything off, it apparently wasn't off. I had a feeling that I should have pulled the fuse over here, but I didn't know. I didn't know exactly which one it was. So, got the compressor off. And I've got this off for the compressor, but I still blew a fuse. I mean, I still blew the, the, the damn uh, oil float, oil monitor. That fuse looks kind of, kind of fugged me right there. Anyways, I had a feeling I should have pulled one of those because I, I knew that was going to happen. Something was going to blow, like I knew it. Or I could have just uh, pulled that, maybe. And, oh, well, maybe that's it. I don't know. Mm, that might have prevented it, but I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, we got the new one in. It was pretty cool having the crane here. The crane, it did all the work from that edge over there. Now I still gotta add some oil to it, so I'm about to, but that's it right there. There she sits. This is the one that I was having trouble with last week. I don't know if you remember that video. I'll link it up here. You should see it in the card section now. But, um, yeah, this is the one. These things are really easy to change. They're real nice. I like them. I like them a lot. I think if they're easier than Copeland, by far. Take them loose right there, right there. You gotta take these loose. Um, had to mount the high pressure switch. And then the electrical box was able to take the, the, new, the old one off of the old compressor. You see there's the electrical box right there that came with this compressor and it just went real good. Probably good idea to switch this module out with the new one so that they have new uh, modules. Yep. I think that'd be smart. This is the oil fill plug right there. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to wait until we, I'm not going to fill it with oil yet. I got uh, my guy, my helper, bringing a new one of these. 547 or 500 some bucks like that is what it costs. Because this thing, this thing fried, yo. It's done. Oh well. So because the crane was right here, with this big old boom up there, I pulled out this, uh, there it is, little brace right there, support brace that went here, because the crane just lifted and, I mean, the crane did all the work. It was fantastic. Fantastic. I've been pulling a vacuum on it for like the last hour. goes our unloader right there now I've already pressure tested this thing and it held pressure good no issues there no issues anywhere this has just been a great a great install a great swap out but I guess it doesn't make any sense to be pulling a vacuum on it like that if I gotta swap this out still so that's that's a jackass move on my part.
let's see, so we've got compressors pulling 12, 9, let's see, that's 10, oh shit. Not come on, so that's okay. So, how do I freaking test it? Hold on. It's running. Okay. Ghost uh, over here to the E2 homes and get into the E2 and watch the. You got to pull that that one off. And we'll uh, when I push it, you'll watch the suction pressure and make sure it's it's pumping properly. So just hit the uh, hit the home button, and then uh, let's see, scroll down, right there. Okay, so you see at the top 56, it says 56 up there? Where? Right there, where you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna hit it, and, and we'll see if that goes down when I hit it. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, here goes. Going down? Uh, yeah, it's going down. What's it say now? Yeah. What is it, where is it at? 54. All right, cool. Now I turned it on. All right, now I think it clicked. It's on It's on by itself now. It's running on its own now. Cool, yeah, it's going down. So we finally got suction pressure coming down. Because we didn't the other day. Go check it out. Make sure it's running with oil. Got oil. Oh shit, but this ain't got no oil. So yeah, we gotta add oil. Forgot about that. Alright, I got my man pumping over there. Oil's going up in that one. Put the whole gallon in it. how you do it that's how you do the compressor man Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Those are all our tools we used.